I mean, if the dad's in jail, then I mean, that's so why is it only their community that saw the spike in single mother because rape? Despite so many black has, mothers were being sent to prison, and it was only black communities doing cocaine. It wasn't Hispanic communities or Asian American communities or white American communities doing crack cocaine. Demographics for those communities. The cocaine. Don't just focus on black single motherhood. Are you triggered by the way? <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here into a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Childish Limp Students Can't Stand Simple Farts. This is Charlie Kick. So, I try, I call him Charlie Kick <laughs> because I like kicking people's ass. So, guys, without further talk, guys, let's get right into today's video. If the Constitution was written to benefit only white people, why is it that Asian Americans are the richest people by race in America right now? Because the Constitution wasn't written to make people rich. What, was the Constitution written in Korean? The Constitution was written to make people slaves. <laughs> Yeah, yet, yet Korean Americans and Vietnamese are actually benefiting the greatest from this American experiment. Uh, actually, in California, as a direct result of Asian success, there were laws passed that stopped Asian Americans, or Asians, period, Asian immigrants, from being able to become citizens or own land. Chinese Exclusion Act, you, know, you don't recall all of these Asian yes, I, 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 So no, you're like structurally there have been you're, no, you're, so you're, many roadblocks. So you're proving my point you precisely? No, I'm not. Like I'm pro so your point is that we were racist against Asian Americans and now they're the richest in America, so they went through a vast time of inequities and they rose above it and they're much richer richer per income and wealth than, than white Americans. No, that happens that because Americans realized that they f***ed up and they lost all of the labor that was going to be possible for people to work on farms in California in order to exploit the land that was in California. There was no way for them to have people to work there. And that's why they brought immigrants back. That's why. So so what, what social program America was designed? literally built on our backs. Well, that, again, swearing and saying things like that doesn't make your argument any more valid. But okay, but it helps me take out a little bit of my anger. That's fair. Um, so, Which but, is valid but, for me but to then, do. Then, then, then if, if it was rigged for a specific group of people, Asian Americans are the richest by race, the second are Indian Americans, people from India. And the third would be white Americans. Yeah, I'm aware. Are you just yeah, so, so how is why, why is that? How do you feel about phrenology? What do you think about racial inequality then on the other side? So why? No, but explain to me why okay, that is. I could tell you why it is. Maybe though. the top one or five percent are the richest. What about the global south? What about the poverty? What about the lowest? What about the po okay? So let's talk about the lowest fifty percent. What are in America their, or globally? Like, yeah, what, no, in America. And globally, as well okay. as globally. Bring up Venezuela What's their now, racial background? Well, What's the I mean, racial demographic of that? Mostly people of color, not white people. But the Asian Asian Americans are at the top of the socioeconomic ladder, relatively. A very small number. No, in the aggregate. Not, in no. The, in the aggregate. If you look at the, at the, way, the way the data is compiled and presented to us, they are the richest per capita group by race in America. Why? Because over the last 50 years, Asian Americans graduated from high school in record numbers. They did not commit crimes. Because we're smarter than you. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's an unbel that, that, That's a racist argument you just made. I, 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 I'm not going to get into eugenics, but you just said you're smarter. I don't think that. I don't think any race is smarter. Other races that haven't done what you're describing. Because okay, so 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 okay. Let me. So the, the two, the uh, the two groups that are poorest by race in America are Native American Indians and African Americans. We've done the most to try to help them over the last 50, 60 years. We have the Bureau of Native American Affairs in the federal government. We spent $22 trillion in the federal government trying to help black America. And black America is poorer today than before we tried to start to help them. $22 trillion. Okay, so your argument institutional racism. My argument is failed policies that Lyndon Baines Johnson, a bitter and committed racist, you and I will both agree, and a dyed-in-the-wool Democrat who didn't want to sign the Civil Rights Act, passed the Great Society, which... Which complete with which, which cluster? Do you think JFK was going to sign the Civil Rights Act? Um, well, he wanted to before no, he was. He, he was definitely not going to. You so know you're why? right. The Democrats were opposed to it. You're right. Oh, the, no. the Northeast oh, Democrats. Oh, he was definitely for it because he was from South Texas. Where so he was so a so what, what what did he call the what did he call the Great Society Bill? Oh no, LBJ was a racist because he was an old white man. Are all white people racist? I would say, I would say that, that, that I think white people have an implicit bias. You can argue with me, I think white people have an implicit bias. Do you understand how, how racist it is to think that all white people are racist? We don't experience systematic racism. We don't experience racism. 
Okay. Okay, so let's talk about that. So then how did Asian Americans climb up the power structure? No, no, so can anyone explain that to me? Because I can. All, all Asian, most Asian Americans here, okay? You said Native Americans, Black Americans. You know, Are there two the poorest by race? Know, That's well, what, an argument. What keeps them in common, okay? They, they were, in they common? Were, they've been here for a while. Okay, okay? so you know what keeps them in common? Yeah. They also get the most okay. government benefits per capita than any other group in America because the way government programs are... That's a symptom, not a cause. No, no, no. And you, you can go to almost a direct day. Black America is poorer today than before we started helping black America. The welfare if, programs... If I'm helping by desegregating, I don't think that's much help. <laughs> um, okay, so how about this? The black single motherhood rate in year 1964 was 22%. Now it's 74%. How on earth okay. does that happen? It happens because we subsidize single motherhood through the okay. 70s, 80s, and 90s by saying if you get married, you lose your government to benefits. Subsidize birth control for lower income people. That's why. Then why is it only their community, the black community, that saw a spike in the because single motherhood rate? Because, because they the don't lowest have income. the same access to it because they've been f***ing written out of those but laws. But weren't Asian Americans written out of the laws in the 1940s and no, 50s? No, because they are not black. Oh, okay, so it's only black people that experienced a tough 20th no, century. No, I'm talking about black people that were specifically written out of these laws. Asian Americans were written out of laws in the 1940s. I we understand. put Asian Americans in internment camps. I understand. So it's, so, so what you, you did could, that? I'm you sorry? You did that? Uh, well, California Democrats did that in the 1940s under the direction of Federal, you know, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Switched, the switched, switched positions switched. on those ideas. Did you take U.S. history? Yeah, I did. That, that is one of the biggest lies ever taught in U.S. history, and we could talk about that. Are you kidding so, me? Democrats have always been about control and always been about power. That is the continuity. Republicans have always been about freedom. The Republican Party was founded in 1860 as an anti-slavery... Freedom for all people. The Republican Party was founded as an anti-slavery party for rights of all Americans in 1860, founded in Ripon, Wisconsin, and it has not changed. It has always been about the, the equality and freedom of all people. The Democrat Party has always been about division. What do you think about the war on drugs that the Republican no, Party... No, I actually started? would have more sympathy with you about decriminalizing marijuana and the war on drugs. So. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's funny to believe in freedom, wait, 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 but how, how come whenever <laughs> whenever we like bring up something, drugs, how is that about freedom? I'm sorry, but like Reagan, Reagan started, like Reagan was the one of the biggest proponents of the war on drugs. How is that freedom? How is well, that pro freedom? Uh, again, it was a bipartisan agreement. But I would agree. I think that's a valid point. Yeah, how come every the, the, single thing? I think it's a valid. I think. Well, I mean, I know it might amaze you to say that I actually said you made a valid point that Republicans have been hypocrites on the war on drugs over the last 30, 40 years. But then, can you also okay. recognize that the war on drugs disproportionately hurt people of color, and that's one of the reasons why they haven't experienced the economic how, how, gains that you say everybody should have experienced? So how big of a, how big of a reason do you think that contributed to the rising single motherhood rate in urban communities? I mean, so if the dad's in jail, then I mean, that's so why is it only their community that saw the spike in single motherhood because rate? Despite so many black has, mothers were being sent to prison, and it was only black communities doing cocaine. It wasn't Hispanic communities or Asian American communities or white American communities doing crack cocaine. Demographics for those communities. The cocaine Don't just epidemic. Focus on black single motherhood. Are you triggered, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. um, We've all seen you be triggered on YouTube as well, so don't act like yelling and being upset is something independent to people on the left. Well, I, I, I get yelled at more than not. Yeah, but anyway. Congress sort of 100 to 1. But let me ask you a question. The cocaine. crack cocaine epidemic in yeah. the 1980s <laughs> hit all communities. It hit the black community the worst, but it hit all communities. Yeah, so Correct. it hit all communities, but the black community the worst. Okay, so how come Congress threw away a 100 to 1 sentencing disparity? No, with, again, uh, again I'm, you're going to find you're, you're, you're going to find you're going to find sympathy with me in, in in the drug law argument, but what you're not going to find sympathy is that we continually subsidize through these welfare programs and then broken public schools. We can get into that, okay. which is a complete relationship with the Democrat Party and the cartel, which is public sector teacher unions that does not allow good teachers to be paid more public and bad teachers, teachers to be fired. Cartel? Yes, the okay. public sector teacher union is a cartel. Okay. So you're saying teachers are paid too much. I'm sorry? You're saying teachers are paid too no, much? No, teachers should be paid more and bad teachers should be fired. Under the current okay. way the tenure laws are written and the agreement between the state government of Texas or the state government of Kansas and the public sector teacher unions, bad teachers cannot be fired. It's nearly impossible to fire them. Why don't we talk about police unions? Who, who is the education system in Texas? Democrats. Who has been in power for the last 50 years in Texas? Well, Republicans, just, you, just so you know, understand your history. Texas became a red state around like 88. So it was mostly Democrats that built these. Okay. So it was Lyndon Baines Johnson that was a Democrat. Daddy. Kay, Kay Bailey. Daddy. Well, I mean, it's Wait, funny. Lyndon so by the way, so what did he call the Great Society Act since you call him daddy? He called it the, <laughs> no, he called it the N-word bill. He was a bitter and committed racist. I know, I know he was a racist, but we still got these things through. You mean the things that kept black America permanently poor and kept an entire part of the American population without hope? That's well, something that's you're proud of? I'm not 
not an African American person, so I can't speak on that behalf. But you can and look at data. What other buzzwords? I don't think you, you are either, so I don't know if you can speak. But on I mean, that like, half. like what what data do you have to argue that? Wait, before we go back to. Okay, this was a lot, and a lot of people were triggered. Um, different question flying from different places. A lot of people, they are all attacking Charlie Cake at the same time, and that was a lot. As he's answering one, another is bringing another question to attack him, and they are all triggered. They are just like, that's been keeping, that be keeping the fire since we just pour at him. This is, this is, this is massive. I don't even know where to start from. <laughs> That is just that I don't know where to start from. Bro, um, I'm shocked by what um, Charlie Cake said. Uh, Asian America, one of the richest um, in America. I'm just kind of like seeing, knowing that for the first time. And I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. I won't lie. I'm surprised. Asian America. Wow. That's, that's, that's amazing to know. Um, I say that the, the students were... Well, Lenin's, I would say that. Um, the, the students know what they are all about. They made their own researches. They have been taught a lot about history and they came prepared. I will, I will use that word, they came prepared because each and every one of them they, they decides certain facts. And some um, answers they gave to Charlie, Charlie Kick, Charlie Kick was like, okay, you're right about, about that. You're right about that. And I like that. But do you, do you, the guy that we at the back where that was wearing um, a cap, that was triggered. I was doing his mouth. I, I don't know how to describe it. He was really triggered. I don't know what his anger was all about because it's just, just like a simple um, conversation they are all having. You are learning, I'm learning. Uh, we are going to know more about why the poor, why the, why the black have been treated badly, um, why racism exists, and why um, the black, some black are poor. I won't say all black. Um, it's, a, it's a conversation. It's not something that we should be we should be triggered about or angry. Charlie King is not saying you are wrong. He's just stating facts or the data he has he has studied and he has also known about. So it's not something you should be triggered about or voicing your increasing your voice too loud <laughs> about. So aside that the entire video was amazing to watch. I enjoyed every moment of it. And I love how the, the students came out to voice their own opinion about what they feel like. But I love I love that Charlie Kick was prepared. Do, knowing that he is not, um, he didn't go to college, but at the same time, he, he's uh, very educated. I will use that word. Education is not about you going to college or not. He's very educated. He's, he's smart. He, he made his own researches. He learns more. He learns more. And I, I love that. I admire that about him that he's really, really smart. So comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Main as well as subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers. Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales.